the aspiration for an integrated railway network connecting all six Gulf Cooperation Council GCC countries Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates has been under discussion for over a decade. Known as the Gulf Railway, this proposed over 2,000 km rail network running along the coast of the Persian Gulf holds immense transformative potential for the region. However, the realization of this ambitious infrastructure project hinges on overcoming numerous challenges. There exists a strong economic rationale for developing the Gulf Railway, as evidenced by historical precedents of large-scale railway construction projects in other parts of the world, such as the US and India in the late 19th century. These projects demonstrated significant economic impacts that outweighed their initial costs, reducing trading costs, increasing shipment volumes, and leading to wider economic benefits. The GCC countries hope for similar effects, aiming to create a faster route for regional trade and exports, boost tourism, and generate billions in new economic activity. While the entire GCC railway remains a work in progress, some countries have made more headway than others. The United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia emerge as clear leaders with ambitious railway plans and investments. Both countries have successfully completed major rail lines in recent years and are investing heavily in rail infrastructure annually. However, progress varies across the GCC, see, with some countries facing challenges in completing their parts of the railway on time. While there is growing momentum behind realizing at least parts of the proposed GCC railway within this decade, the full vision remains uncertain. Train travel within the Gulf is expected to expand significantly under the leadership of the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, with direct rail links between some neighboring countries increasingly likely to be finished by December 2030 or soon after. However, challenges such as technical difficulties and financial constraints may hinder the realization of the entire 2000 km network. Research indicates that significant rail projects produce substantial economic benefits outweighing their initial costs. For the GCC, replicating these impacts is the goal, as a railway network would create a faster route for trade between the member states, lower trading costs, support the formation of a customs union and common market, and benefit regional exports and tourism. While the Gulf Railway holds immense potential for transforming the region's connectivity and economic landscape, realizing this vision requires concerted efforts to overcome technical, financial, and logistical challenges. The progress made by countries like the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia is promising, but the full realization of the GCC Railway remains contingent on overcoming these hurdles and ensuring commitment from all member states.